Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today we're going to talk about my garbage. Um, these are all of the products that I've completely used up since I last filmed this. I think I filmed my last one like three months ago. So this is like three months worth of things that I finished up. I have makeup, skincare. I don't know if I have any hair care this time because, I mean, this is a wig, but my natural hair is short for those of you who don't know. So I haven't been going through as much product. I've been wearing a lot of wigs, so I'm not really styling my hair. Um, so I don't know if I have any hair things, but I also have candles because I included candles in my last empties video and you guys seemed really excited about me continuing to do that so I have a lot of candles to talk about. I can't believe I went through this many candles but I also kind of can because I feel like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, that's the time I like to burn candles the most, like the fall winter scents, so I have a lot to talk about. I'm just gonna chat about the products that I used up essentially and I'll tell you what I thought of them, if I'm gonna repurchase anything, if I already repurchased something. There's that. Before we hop into it, I did film this look, of course. I film every look you guys see on camera. It should already be up on my IGTV by the time this video goes up. This is a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. And this is a CC brand beanie. Also, you might hear a little bit of like world noise because I have my window open. It feels delightful outside, so. There's that. Anyways, let's just hop in and chat about the products that I used up. I'll save candles for the end, just in case you're someone who's not interested in candles. That'll be like the complete end of the video, but until then we'll just talk about makeup and the little bit of skincare I have as well. All right, let's do the thing. I'm not gonna go in any particular order because this basket, oh goodness is in no particular order. Oh my goodness gracious. I went through a Lush Magic Crystals shower scrub. It's very nice. It smells like I don't know, it just smells like mint. I guess that's what it says on the thing. It's this kind of purple, you're not really gonna see it because it's empty, but it has like a purple scrub in it and it smells so refreshing. I really like using this on my back specifically, especially when my back is feeling kind of sore. I like it, I've already purchased another one of these. Also from Lush, I went through a cup of coffee mask. I really like this mask. I don't know if I'm gonna be in a rush to buy another one. I've gone through so many of these. This is probably at least my fifth or sixth one. It smells like coffee. It's another kind of physical exfoliator. I use this on my face, preferably in the morning because it kind of wakes me up with that coffee scent. And I do really like this, but I have some other physical exfoliators I'm working through right now. So I'm not in a rush to repurchase this per se, but I'm positive I will get another one at some point. <laughs> I went through a Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I love this. I've already purchased another one. It's a very thick, like solid oil, and you just scoop a little bit out with the little scoop that it comes with. You apply it to your skin and rub it in, and it immediately melts all your makeup away. I freaking love this. It's so gentle, it doesn't hurt my eyes. It really removes my makeup perfectly, and then after that, I'll go in with my regular cleanser. I like to do a double cleanse, especially when I'm wearing makeup. This is fantastic, and it's so affordable. Love this stuff. I've already got another one, and I Probably will continue to use that for a very long time to come. I went through a Pixie Glow Glycolic Boost Sheet Mask. I'm not really a big sheet mask person anymore. I kind of lost my interest in them back in like 2018, but I still had a couple more and I'm just trying to use stuff up. So I did end up using this. It was fine, it makes my skin feel good. I really like the glycolic line through Pixie, but this isn't something I plan on repurchasing. I think sheet masks are kind of, I don't know, a little wasteful because like a regular typical jar mask will last you a lot more uses. This is a one-time use and then we have garbage. So I used it because I had it, but I don't plan on repurchasing it. I went through two Pixie tonics. I went through a milky tonic and a retinol tonic. I really like both of these. I could see myself potentially repurchasing one or both of these, but I won't really need to because I feel like Pixie like like, sends me tonics all the time. Um, and really, if I ran out of all of them, I would probably repurchase the Pixie Glow Tonic because that one's my favorite, but I did really like these. The Milky one was very soothing and the Retinol one has Retinol. It also has Jasmine, so it smells really nice. I like them both. My skin liked them nice enough and there's that. They're not my favorite out of all the tonics, but they're good toners. I guess I do have a hair product. This is the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. I really like this. It's actually taken me forever to go through this. I think I bought this like almost three years ago. This takes forever to go through. It's a loose powder dry shampoo. It's one of my all time favorite dry shampoos, but it's very messy. This is the kind of dry shampoo I don't recommend you use when you have a shirt on already because it'll get absolutely everywhere. And I feel like the cap isn't perfect. It just kind of spews a lot out. I think this uh, kind of product would do a lot better in a salt shaker kind of component, but I did really like this one. I don't know if I'll repurchase it, especially because I'm not really even using dry shampoo right now because I'm on such a wig game. And I do have some other dry shampoos I do prefer over this one, but I did like it. I liked how long it lasted me. I went through these Pixie Detoxify depuffing eye patches. These are something I think I got like a year ago, uh, sent to me through Pixie, of course, and I didn't use them for the longest time because like going out of my way to remember to use like eye patches in the morning is not something I think to remember to do, but I did eventually 
break down and use them, get use out of them. I kind of liked having them in my routine. Like I did feel like it kind of made me feel a little less puffy, a little more awake in the morning, but I don't love them enough to repurchase them. And again, I feel like this is a little bit unnecessary. ColourPop did send me like maybe a month or two ago, these like cooling eye balls. I never remember to use those, but I mean, that's like a reusable version of this where it kind of depuffs you, wakes you up, that kind of thing. But I did kind of like having these in my routine, not gonna lie. Speaking of eye patches, I also had three packs of these cooling eye water patches. I did like these a little more than the pixie ones, but these are also like individually packaged, more waste, probably more expensive because milk makeup is a lot more expensive than pixie, but I did really like them, but I don't see myself repurchasing them, but they were fun to use. All right, a few more skincare things. I think this was a very heavy skincare one. I guess I didn't go through as much makeup as I thought, but I do have a decent pile of makeup down next to me that I will get to. I went through this Milk Makeup uh, Kush Powerhouse Brow and Lash Serum. This is one of the things I got maybe a year ago and I always forgot to use it, but I finally buckled down and actually got use out of it. I used it every single night. I applied it to my lashes and my brows. I don't know if it does anything. I truly don't. I don't know if I believe in this kind of a thing, but I got use out of it. I definitely won't repurchase it because I don't know if I believe in it, but there's that. <laughs> I have this one kind brand Porefectionist Refining Facial. It was just kind of like a thicker mask. It's supposed to help with pores. I don't have a huge like pore problem, um, but I did use this. It was small. I only got a couple uses out of it, but it was fine. It's not something I'm planning on running out and repurchasing, but I got my use out of it. They did send this to me. It was like a sample included with a moisturizer they sent me a while back and it was fine. <laughs> All right, the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. It's so funny because if you look back at my previous empties videos, I had so much Drunk Elephant all the time and I always swore I would never drift from it, but I'm pretty sure I'm drifting from it. This is one of my last products I still have. I have a few travel size things that I'll go through once traveling happens again and I think I still have more of the baby facial. But for the most part, I think I'm done buying their stuff. As much as I really, really like the product inside, I think the formula is good, it does good for my skin. I've just found so many other things that work just as good that are way cheaper. Like Good Molecules, Pixie, there's so many good brands out there that are not as expensive as Junk Elephant. And as much as I love the product in Junk Elephant, my wallet likes the cheaper brands more. So um, there's that. I don't know if I'll ever repurchase this again. It is a good oil though. I gotta give it to them. Moving on to good molecules. I have three more things to talk about and then we'll move on to makeup. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I was using this pretty much every single morning ever since I got it and I really liked it. I probably will repurchase this at some point, but I do have some other serums I'm currently working through, so I'm not in a rush to repurchase it, but I did quite like it. It was very nice. I do have an affiliate link through Good Molecules, by the way. I don't have a code because their stuff is already so cheap, but I will have my affiliate link for Good Molecules down in the description box if you feel like shopping their site. They have a lot of good things. Every single thing I've tried has been gold. Um, I do make a small commission if you shop through my link, so I appreciate that, but no pressure, but it will be there if you want to use it. I also have the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. This one is very, very simple similar to the Drunk Elephant uh, Virgin Marula one I was just talking about, and then also the Rose Hip Seed Oil. I was using the Rose Hip one a lot of mornings as well. I can't say I love this one, like I used it, it was fine, but I don't know if I like need this one, so I don't know if I'll repurchase this one, but it was fine. I did really like this ultra hydrating facial oil though, I liked it a lot. I used it most nights before bed. I probably will repurchase this one, but again, I have some other oils I'm kind of working through right now, so I'll probably wait until I've run out of more things before I repurchase this, just so I don't have like a million of everything, but I did quite like this oil. I thought it was fantastic. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Um, I have a couple mascaras to talk about. First being the Lash Primer through KVD Vegan Beauty. I did enjoy this. It kind of gives your lashes a little bit of a curl, similar to what a eyelash curler will do. My lashes are naturally super straight and they don't hold a curl, so this doesn't do much for me, but it does the same thing that a lash curler does. I did enjoy using this when it was sent to me, but I don't really plan on repurchasing it. I think I'll probably just stick with my lash curler because I mean, that doesn't cost any money to use and it also, doesn't create extra waste so I used it I liked it but I don't know how necessary it is I also went through a KVD vegan beauty go big or go home mascara and a large lash mascara um, both were fine I don't think I would repurchase the pixie one I would potentially repurchase the KVD vegan beauty one but they have actually sent me like one or two other ones of these so I'm pretty stocked up for a little while um, there's that. Those were the two mascaras I went through. A couple brow products. I went through a Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. I do like this clear brow gel, but now that I've discovered the NYX Super Glue Brow Gel or something like that, I think it's called the Brow Glue. That one is so good. It really keeps my hair stuck up and nice and fluffy looking. So it is a million times better than this one and it's a lot cheaper. 
Um, so I don't think I'll repurchase this one. I think I found a new Holy Grail. And then I also went through a Glossier Brown Boy Brow. I kind of alternate between this one and the uh, Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. Uh, so maybe I'll repurchase this one again. I guess it just depends on where I'm shopping at the time when I need a new brow gel But I love a fiber brow gel It's always the first step in my brow routine to just get a little bit of a fill a little bit of fiber in there And then I just kind of add a little bit here and there to perfect them But I don't like to do too much craziness to my brows, but I do like that product We've gone through a couple of them I went through a ColourPop Freckle Pen in Soft Brown, and I went through a Freck XL. I didn't love the ColourPop Freckle Pen. It's just not my favorite. You absolutely have to store it upside down or it dries out immediately. But I also could see myself picking this up down the road because it's so cheap and it's good for just quick, easy little freckles. So this is a maybe. Maybe I'll repurchase it. Freck, however, I definitely will. I'm surprised I don't have another one right now, but I'm actually just trying to go through my Kimchi Chic one and I did actually just purchase a new Lottie London one, but I'm sure I'll get this one again down the road. I know it's crazy expensive, but it's truly my favorite freckle product. It is what it is, <laughs> and it actually lasts forever. The big size lasts me a really long time, and it's a better value for your money than the teeny, teeny, tiny one. I went through a mini hourglass veil primer. This was my birthday gift for Sephora for 2020 July. Um, it's a fine primer. It's never something I'm going to spend my money on. One, because it's way out of my price range, and two, because I don't really feel comfortable buying hourglass right now. They've been very clear that they don't really care about expanding their shade range to suit more people, which is not okay. But yeah, I went through that, needless to say. I went through a Milk Kush Lip Balm and a Kush Lip Scrub. I feel like both are fine. None are something that I'm so obsessed with that I feel the urge to like run out and buy it. If they ever did come into my life again, I would absolutely use them again, but I'm not like totally obsessed with them. Right now, my favorite lip scrub is the one that came in the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection. If ColourPop comes out with more lip scrubs, jump on them. They're so good, so finely milled. They smell delightful. And I just have other lip balms I prefer over this one. Like this one's fine, but I like the e.l.f. Ride or Die ones. I have a lip oil from e.l.f. I also have one from NYX. I also like the lip mask that came with that ColourPop Hello Kitty collection. So I'm not running out to buy these, but I did go through them. I went through this Urban Decay Perversion Black Eye Pencil. This was fine. I always use a black eye pencil to tight line my upper waterline before I put false lashes on. So I'm not necessarily gonna run out and buy this one in particular, but I will always have a black liner on deck. I think I have two in my cup right now that I'm working through, so. There's that. And I also went through a ColourPop BFF liquid liner. It's the black one. Um, it's a felt tip liner. I think it's fine. I could potentially see myself repurchasing this, but at the same time, I like the NYX Epic Ink more. That one is more of a brush tip, but it's still really easy to use. So I feel like I would buy that one over this one always, but I'm not totally writing this one out. Just a couple more things. I went through a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It was my goal last year to finish up this darn foundation. This one was in the shade Snow. This was my favorite foundation years ago and I did repurchase it. This was my second one, I think, maybe my third one. It was my favorite for a long time, but at this point in my life, it's too full coverage. It's not my thing. I don't love Too Faced as a brand, so I don't plan on repurchasing this one, but I did finally go through it. I also went through the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I absolutely love it. Mine is in the shade Fair Beige. This is a fantastic concealer and I will 100% repurchase this. I'm just trying to go through some other concealers first. I don't need to have an abundance of them on deck, but I do absolutely love this one. It's a million times better than the regular Camo Concealer. This one is fantastic. I went through a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Trinket from Sugar Pill. I really do want to repurchase this one because it's such a beautiful liquid lipstick. It's a really pretty pinky neutral. And then when you smack your lips together, when it dries down, little gold sparkles peek through. Such a beautiful liquid lipstick. I'm not in a rush to repurchase it because I have plenty of lip products. And let's be honest, like we're wearing masks all the time, but... I do like this one. I might pick it up again down the road, maybe if there's a sale or something. I went through a Juno & Co sponge. This was the purple one. This is so nasty. I hate touching like old sponges that have been sitting in here. It's the grossest feeling ever. But I did go through one of these. I'm currently working on, I think the blue one. I'm not positive. Uh, I love the Juno & Co sponges. I'm a microfiber sponge kind of person. I think the one I'm working on now is probably almost dead. I usually use them for a few months at a time. I feel like with the microfiber sponges, I'm able to really get them clean, different than like a regular sponge. Maybe that's just me, but that's about how long I use them, just until like I feel like I can't like make them work anymore. I don't know, I can always just tell. 
Now I have some lashes to chat about. I asked in my last uh, empties video if I should continue to talk about lashes or if it was boring to you, and a lot of you said you still liked seeing them, so I saved all my lashes so we could talk about them. <laughs> These were the Rouge and Rogue ones in the style Slayer, one of my absolute favorite pairs of all time. I will definitely repurchase these at some point, but I have plenty of lashes to go through right now, so I'm not in a rush to repurchase any lashes, but I did absolutely love these. I've worn these so many times. This is probably my third or fourth pair I bought of these. They're good. These were the Alter Ego Plush Lashes. I mostly use these just for the sake of using them because they're in my collection. The Alter Ego Lashes are just a bit small for my preference. I mean, I'm wearing fairly small ones today, but as a general rule, I do like a larger lash, but I do have all the lashes from Alter Ego, so I'm just slowly working through them. Once in a while, I'm down to wear a smaller lash, so. These were fine, they're fine enough. I feel like if you're into small lashes, you'd probably really like Alter Egos and they're a pretty affordable brand. And last I have lashes from Estico. Estico was Midas Cosmetics' sister company. I say was because they no longer exist. They are officially closing down. I just got an email from them like a week ago. So unfortunately this lash subscription won't be a thing anymore. I will no longer get lashes from them, but it was fun while it lasted. I went through all three from the It's Me Kristen B collab. We had Lucifer, Halloween, and October. I'm pretty sure none of these are available anymore at this point, but I really liked all three of them. I think this was my favorite uh, subscription I've ever gotten from them. So these were great. I went through those three. I went through two of the three from the Neon MUA collab, uh, Player One and Button Smash. I liked both of these. There was a third pair as well, but I think maybe they were too big for me and that's why I didn't want them. Cause there's a level where it's too big. Like I don't like it to look just giant and the same and not wispy enough. I, 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 it gets too much, but these were great. I really liked both of these. So yeah, let's talk about candles now because I could talk about candles all day. Let's go through my Evil Queen candles first. I really like the Evil Queen candles. These were from the, I think the fall bundle. I bought these back in September, I believe. And I think I finished these back in October, probably soon after I did my last um, empties video. So here I am talking about them now. I don't know which of these are still available. I know with seasonal scents they go in and out, but I'll still talk about them. This one was Big Witch Energy. It's pumpkin and cinnamon. <sighs> It was so good. I really like Evil Queen's candles. They're like 20 a pop, so they're not like incredibly cheap, but they're not horribly expensive. I do like their candles a lot. They're coming out with a couple for Valentine's Day and I might jump on one or two of them. This one was Cuffing Season. This is Bergamot and Cologne. It's a little too like, I don't know. I don't just love cologne scents burning. Like I used it to use it, but that's not my favorite scent in the house. I like something more, sweet, warm, cozy. I like things like pumpkin pie or like cookies, things like that. I do get into fruity scents once it hits spring and summer, but I don't like just cologne scents, if that makes sense. But that one was fine enough. It wasn't horrible. It's just not my favorite thing to burn. And this one is literally dead. It was crunchy leaves, apple cider, and frosty grass. <sighs> this one's also really nice. I love this kind of a smell. I love that like apple, autumn. <sighs> I'm sad that autumn has like come and gone, <laughs> even though we don't really get it here in Florida. I just, I love when it starts. It makes me feel so cozy, but I love winter as well. I'm happy right now. Let's talk about my Yankee Candle candles next because I have a few of those. These are all Christmassy scents. Yay. <laughs> this one was Candy Cane Lane. <sighs> it smells just like candy canes. I love a candy cane smell. It's so good. I only buy Yankee candles when they're on sale as well because I just, I don't love paying like 20 plus dollars for a candle, so I always wait until there's a good sale. So I don't know how much I paid for this, probably like $10. This one is Santa's Cookies. Smells like cookies, smells like cookie dough, cake batter. Oh, it's so sweet and yummy. I know some people really hate sweet scents in their house, but I just, I love it. It makes me feel so homey and cozy. I went through two frosty gingerbread candles from Yankee Candle and I got, definitely got both of these when they were on sale. So I think they were only 10 or 15 a pop. Absolutely my favorite Christmas scent ever. It just, it smells so gingerbready and holiday and cozy. It fills the room so nicely. I would always have this burning downstairs and whenever I would get done like filming or doing something upstairs and I would go downstairs to like the living room of our apartment, the smell that hits me in the face is just so delightful. I love that scent so good. I'm excited for Christmas next year so I can buy a couple of those again. And then I actually saw that they started doing candles like this that look very Bath and Body Works-esque where it's that like short fat kind of three wick situation. So I have a couple of these. I have one back here as well burning, but um, these are the two that I went through. This one is Autumn Harvest. I feel like it smells like what you would expect. It smells just very autumnal, very like, I don't know, like leaves, that pumpkin-y kind of smell, but not overly pumpkin. It's a little more earthy. This wasn't my favorite autumn scented candle. It's just not, 
I don't know, it's a little too woodsy for me, but I did like it. I just don't think I'll repurchase it. And this one was called Jingle All The Way, North Pole. It just kind of smells like sweet, twinkling snow. It's so cozy. I feel like when I smell this candle, it makes me feel like I'm in a winter wonderland. It was quite delightful. I might repurchase this next year. Next, I have a bunch of DW home candles. I always get this brand at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls kind of stores because they're always very cheap like always less than eight dollars and i love them they're beautiful they have so many good scents especially for like christmas and autumn they had so many good ones i think i talked about a lot of these in my last empties video i want to talk about these little ones first because these ones are delightful this one's called vampire i just love these little jar candles these are only four dollars a pop to me it almost smells like melted gummies <laughs> i don't know if that's accurate that's kind of what it smells like it's very nice it almost has a little bit of a cherry scent to it I liked it. It was nice. With all of these candles, I don't know for sure like which I would repurchase. It kind of just depends on what's available when this time of year comes around next year. Um, but I really liked all these and these little ones are just so cute. I usually find these by the checkout counter like as you're walking up um, and I'll just see a bunch of them and it's delightful. This one is jack-o-lantern and it just kind of smells like pumpkin and candy. It's very nice. It really kind of smells like the gunk that you take out of a pumpkin when you're carving a jack-o'-lantern. That's exactly what it smells like, actually. This one is chocolate pumpkin and sea salt. I think this might be my last fall one before we get into holiday. This one was nice. It does have a little bit of a pumpkin-y smell, but it's also very chocolatey. I do like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I do like it. It was definitely different than what I've already used. I feel like all of the biggest vans and trucks keep driving by and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right, into a few holiday ones. This one is holiday cider. It smells just like that. It smells like cider. It smells cozy. It smells like you're in your living room cozied up with a mug in front of you. So nice. And this one's candy cane. I don't like this candy cane one nearly as much as the Yankee Candle Candy Cane Lane one I talked about, but this one was still cute. It was still nice. It just wasn't my favorite. I feel like sometimes candy cane scented candles don't always go over well, but it was okay. It was fine. Now we're getting into the like medium sized jars of DW Home Candles and then we will be done. Um, and I guess I do have a couple more autumnal ones. This one was pumpkin butter and honey. And again, yeah, it kind of just smells like that. It kind of smells like cake battery pumpkin-y. I don't really get too much of a honey smell, but it was very nice. I recommend checking out these candles. They're very great. This one is poison apple. And it kind of just smells apple-y, very similar to like the apple cider smells. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really have anything else left to comment about that. It's nice, it's pleasant. I really like apple cider scents because it's very like crisp. It's not too overwhelmingly warm and sweet because I don't always want that even though it's my preferred. This is what I would go for if I want something more crisp. And I feel like burning one of those near one that's also like really sweet is a really cool combo. This is salted caramel pumpkin. And it kind of just smells like that. It smells a little caramelly. Little pumpkin-y. It's not my favorite one, but it was fine at the time. We got another warm apple cider. <sighs> I love that smell. It's so crisp and fresh. <laughs> Ooh, this one's holiday spice. This one was good. Sweet spice, toasted cinnamon spice, crushed clove, and sweet toasted nutmeg. <sighs> it smells like holiday. Hit you in the face. This might be my second favorite one next to that Yankee Candle Frosty Gingerbread. It was just so cozy and holiday. I love that kind of smell. Two more to go. This one was peppermint stick. This one I liked more than that little one, but again, not as much as the Yankee Candle one. But this one was a nice candy cane one. I would probably pick it up again. And our last one is vanilla cream. I love the artwork on some of these Christmas ones. It's very cute and like vintage Christmas. <sighs> this one just smells like vanilla cake batter. It's so good. Oh, I love this smell so much. It's so nice. <laughs> I want to know what your preferred like candle scents are because I know we're all so different in what we like. Um, so I want to know what you like. So yeah, that was my garbage. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love talking about the things I went through. It's fun for me because I forget a lot of the things that I went through by the time I go to do this video again. I'd love to know what you thought of it. Do you want me to continue doing candles? Again, last time you guys seemed really excited, so that's why I did it again this time, but let me know if it's boring. I think it's very fun though. It makes me wanna like go out to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and get more candles. <laughs> I feel like we're also on a good path right now where I'm doing it like January and then maybe every three months because then some of these scents will still be relevant because even even though like Christmas is over, I'm still into a lot of these scents because it is still winter. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Just let me know what you're thinking. Have you tried any of the things I talked about? Do you want any of the things I talked about? I would love to know which products you go through the most 
Clearly I go through skincare like a madman. <laughs> I'm very diligent about my skincare and I'm very proud of that. My goal right now is still to just keep using as many things as possible, especially with our move coming up in a couple months. I just wanna like use things, get them gone, get them used up so I have less things to pack. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, leave me an emoji relating to hygiene. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean, follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information and resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.